Hey, Mark. So I heard there's not uh, hey hi and some assistance in Visual Studio Code. So like, what's happening? Like Visual Studio Code will be a uh, coding for me. <laughs> no, well, seriously, how how can it help us make make us more productive? So we've always had IntelliSense. We've had IntelliSense for a number of years now. Um, but what we've been working on really, really recently is how we can make IntelliSense work better for you. So when we think about IntelliSense, we're really kind of usually thinking about an alphabet alphabetized list of kind of shortcuts to useful next steps in our code. However, I think you'll find what we, now that we've empowered that with AI assistance together with IntelliSense, um, you'll see, think, find it to be way more productive and powerful for you, you and your development team. Let me kind of show you what I mean by that. Definitely, um, go... I want to see it. Let's see it. So, so let's let's just dive in here. I mean, I'm in my open source project here. I'm in this action controller. This is an ASP.NET application. So there's context here. Um, obviously, the, the code itself. There's a lot of code in here. I have multiple projects, um, but what Intelli IntelliSense does what in AI assisted IntelliSense does is look at the community and say, how can I help you make decisions? And it also combines that with your project. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a few enter signs, hit, hit the enter and hit type if. And the AI assistant is going to think about what might be a reasonable next step for me, right? Um, so as you can see here, it's actually not just suggested to me a shortcut to a potential um, API, but it's actually suggested what in the next whole line might be. And as you can see, it's actually drawn inference from line 62. So line 62 has unique, unique link date. And it says, hey, what would be a reasonable step is to check if that's actually no, given that it goes from another method, right? And so that's interesting to me because now I have my IntelliSense um, memory, memory muscle can work for me. I can hit tab and accept that. So now literally in three, by typing three characters, if um, open brackets and IntelliSense literally kicks in and starts to try to make a suggestion for me. Um, yeah, I, very cool. Like it's it, like way more than uh, like, you know, like completion stuff. Like that's really smart. It takes the next level. It's looking at Looking at the community, it's 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 looked at uh, multiple GitHub projects and said, what kind of things do that, does the community do? And more importantly than that, you can literally have this um, this kind of help you with maybe a new API. Your team is using a new type of API that the community uses. Um, AI assistants can help you make decisions about how to fill out a brand new API. And again, it's in context. Let me show you another example of what I mean by context-driven. Um, so this is, as I've mentioned, this is an ASP.NET application. Mm -hmm. So if I were to return from this action in this controller, um, normally for an application, um, returning usually re has some kind of context. What have I kind of been doing inside here? But as you can see, AI knows that I'm currently sitting in an ASP.NET ASP application and attempts to suggest to me, you can actually return the view. And that's the most logical and reasonable thing. But that's logical and reasonable for an ASP.NET MVC application. So this wouldn't be the suggestion you would get if you were doing a console app or a Windows form app. But this is, it understands the context. And so all your suggestions a kind of sit within a better understanding of your application. That's really, really cool. So the AI knows where we are, what kind of project it is. So that's why it's suggesting that. And like definitely, a, yeah, big plus, because usually I would have to start typing views and maybe have an auto completion. So this uh, 2022 version is definitely a big step forward. It's a huge step forward. And I think this really comes into play when, like I said, if your team is learning a new API and you know one person has absorbed that pattern into the project, everybody gets to benefit from that collective wisdom and can, can, can use your API surface in the exact same kind of way because it's learning based on what you've currently put in the project. I love it. 